Hello and welcome to the Enduro Electric channel and another episode about the byways in the United Kingdom. One of the great benefits about living in England and certain countries in Eastern and Southern Europe is that you have all these tracks where you can practice your off-roading skills on. And sometimes, the local attractions make things just a little bit more interesting and more exotic. The byway that I'll be showing you today can be done on a wide variety of vehicles, on small trolleys, on big trolleys, some sections, even on street bikes. About cars, well, I'm not too sure about everything though. Now the byway that we're going to have a look at today is quite an easy one. Something nice for beginners to get into trial riding. You won't have to worry too much about dropping a motorcycle, hopefully. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at it. I'll show you how you can find it and uh, what it's like, and then you can choose for yourself. Today we're looking at the byways near Paulson Lacey in Surrey, south of London. The first section goes past the Hazel's Forest. It can be accessed by coming off the roundabout, linking the A246 and the B2122 near the leatherhead. This is an easy byway and excellent for beginners as it has dry lanes that have few obstacles but occasional rocky sections which make the ride a bit bumpy. The first half of the byway is flat and easy, but eventually more stones appear. Now the great thing about this byway is that it is quite easy to ride on, easy for beginners and for people with bigger motorcycles, bigger off-road uh, dual purpose motorcycles and uh, those who get a bit nervous when it gets more muddy and so on, so this is something really uh, quite basic and easy to ride on or something to get you into the mood or more practice for the harder and muddier byways. Yes, there are a few more hard and challenging sections even on this byway. Some of the ruts are a bit deeper and there are some routes to watch out for. But I think there's a stonier section coming up further on and uh, that'll be something to look forward to to make all this a bit more exciting. To reduce being rattled about, it may be worth climbing onto the elevated sides of the byway, which are much smoother. At the end of the Hazel's Forest, one passes horse riding facilities and curious spectators. And it's always a nice experience when even the local inhabitants are interested in what you're doing. Then comes a long lane with a further mixture of soil, sand and stones which becomes a bit more rutted towards the sides at the end. And this uphill section here is the last bit of this part of the byway and there's just one small little surprise left for everyone. Okay, this last step here isn't that magnificent, nothing challenging, but it just adds a little bit of excitement. They are better than nothing and totally flat. Next comes a short road section linking this byway to the Hodgen Lane byway. This section is not long and the next byway can easily be found by riding straight ahead. Gravel is what one should expect at first, together with some occasional rubble like smashed tiles from a bathroom refurbishment. More debris and rubbish is lying around on this byway today, which is abnormal as it is usually clean, so I together with another rider move some of it to the side. If we just simply lay it over like that, then people can at least get past. This lane then leads to a junction to the chalk pit lane. Unfortunately, fly tipping, leaving rubbish out in the forest, is still a small problem in the UK. But one that we can manage around. And now we've come to the junction where we can decide which way we want to go. We have here on our right a track which goes past the farm. It's 
quite a simple one, very easy, nice smooth surface, not too challenging, well not challenging at all, but still nice scenery to have a look at. And then on the other side here, we have a byway, which is a bit more exciting, goes through the woods, with some uphills, some small downhills, but I remember this byway for one reason, because at one section the stones get really sharp, and I once had tires that were cut up quite a bit by, the, by these stones, that, by these sharp stones that were on that byway. And uh, after having done it, I had to go and uh, replace my tire. All we have to do now is get past all this rubbish. The chalk bit lane meets up to Effingham and is like the other byways in the area, flat and easy to ride on. There are few stones as the surface consists mostly of soil. The track is used heavily by horse riders on weekends as there are horse stables nearby. Watch out not only for horse manure, but also these bumps in the track, and any traffic coming from the right next to the stables. The byway leads to a junction with the A246 near Effingham and can easily be found by not being too far from the local petrol station. Ah yes, remember when we hit the junction? We must not forget about the Hodgen Lane, which we said had sharp stones and cut tires. I had not been on this lane for quite a while now, so I was quite looking forward to see what it was like now and if it had changed. And of course byways like this give you a chance to explore the magnificent English countryside. Now I've got even distances on this motorcycle and they seem to have withstood the test of the tire cutting lane as I'd like to sometimes nickname, nickname it uh, quite well. There's not a single cut that I can spot here and either these are really really tough tires or there's been some serious resurfacing going on by Surrey County Council. Thank you very much. The Hodgen Lane then leads to the Randmore Common Road bringing this episode to its conclusion. Stay tuned and subscribe to the Enduro Lexus channel for more videos on the byways of the UK and Europe. It really makes you feel like you're somewhere really far, far away.